for Kowski and Quincy back deep. Good kick by Versajay. Perkowski struggles to gain control of it. Now he's got it. He's out across the 20 and stays on his feet after a big hit, but is down at the 25-yard line. First and 10 Coyotes from their own 25. I think Ben is upset because the wedge ran away from him. <laughs> <laughs> They've had enough yeah, of that. They've had enough of that yeah. torpedo. So first down for the Coyotes. You know, that, uh, most people feel like this series, the first series after the halftime, sets the tone for the rest of the game. Yep. A pair of receivers, actually one to the left and one to the right. They've got an eye formation now behind Shepard. Allen is the tailback. Evans is the fullback. Shepard gets to Allen, running right up the middle. Running room. He's across the 30. He's to the 33. That's going to be a seven-yard gain. It will be second down and three. You notice that first play, Tom, they did no no shifting at all. First time I've seen them when they made no movement whatsoever, they just lined up on the ball, got down, and ran a play. Let's see if that same thing holds true. I'm a little concerned because they've been running right up the middle with some success here on their last couple of possessions. That would set up some other things for them to do. Second and three from the Cowboy 33. Same thing now, Tom. They're not, they're not shifting at all. And they give it to Allen right up the middle. And he's got a first down for the Coyotes. He's out to the 39-yard line. That's going to be a six-yard gain. You know, when Tom, uh, when teams start saying, well, we're just going to come out and run it down your throat and everything, I tell you, that's all well and good. But 21 points is a lot to just continuously run down somebody's yeah. throat that's, that's pretty good on defense also. Look at them. They're not shifting at all anymore. No. First and 10 for South Dakota at their 38-yard line. It's a complete different offense. Same plays. They're just not doing all the shifting. Rolling left. Down he goes, and Brian Smith has another sack back at the 30-yard line. He's just too fast for you to roll away from it. Boy, it's fun to to, uh, to see it getting ready to happen. You know it's getting ready to happen, and I'll tell you what. You could not tell the difference in Brian Smith and a receiver on that play. I guarantee he wouldn't have, he would have outrun many people on that play. Second sack of the night, seven and a half on the season. Here we are just past the midway point of game four for Brian Smith. It's a loss of seven on the play, eight on the play, second down at 18. You know what's so fascinating, Tom, is a lot of his sacks lately have been running away from him. You know, he's chasing them from behind. Second and 18, they spread it out to the shotgun. Shepard wants to throw, rolls right. Now goes back to the left, throws left, and it is batted away by the Cowboys. Oh, and it's caught by USD. The Cowboys played volleyball. They're trying to bat that one down. It went off one of their Cowboy players and into the hands of a receiver who was nowhere near the play, and it's going to be very close to a USD first down. And that receiver was Franco Harris? Yeah, <laughs> I think it was Brooks Little, 87, who made the grab. You know, it was exactly like the immaculate reception, uh, except reception, yep. except that the uh, uh, receiver, oh, got they're moving the ball back, uh, except that the, uh, the guy didn't catch it on the run. Right. Hi, I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. They're running right up out of now, John. You know what probably happened, Tom, is they, go in a, they went in the dressing room at halftime, yep. and the offensive line coach got up in the front of everybody and said, don't go on it, we're going to tighten them chin straps, we're going to quit all this jumping around, and we're going to run right at it. And that's what they come out and do. Well, they've been successful running here in the third quarter on this drive. The one time they set up the throw, they were sacked. Actually, two times they set up the throw. The next one was the deflection that was caught. Um... But the running game right at the Cowboys has been very successful on this drive thus far. Started at the 26. It's now to the Cowboy 42, first and 10 for South Dakota. Shepard up under center. Drops the throw. Has time. Throws over the middle. And incomplete. Thrown too low for Brooks Little. Hit him on the knees there. It will be second down at 10. 
Actually, I think the quarterback Speedo he just waited a minute and lost it. Oh, he might have, they might have completed the thing. Now, Tom, how does Wiley Coyote sound? Doesn't sound good at all. No, Wiley Coyote. Coyote, correct. Sounds right. Yeah. Okay. That's that's my part of the arc. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the Cowboys obviously have brought plenty of their acne products <laughs> here tonight because right. they've kept the Coyotes or the Coyotes without scoring. Two receivers left. High formation behind Shepard. Allen is the tailback. They'll give it to him, running right up the middle. He's got running room. He's got near a first down. Stacked up finally at about the 32-yard line. You know, we've had some blitzes, and we've had some things where it looks like we're running ourselves out of the play. We're running ourselves beyond the dive. Yeah. You know, like that time, uh, I think the, uh, one of the inside linebackers probably blitzed, and they ran by inside. And I would, I would think the natural thing to do would be trap those kind of guys, but it doesn't look like they have to on that play. No, they're not having to trap us. They are uh, coming right at us. Coming right at us, and they're blowing us out right now on the line of scrimmage. Third and Shepard up under center. Option. He will be hit, but he'll escape, and he'll get the first down, and he'll get more. He's inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Shepard was hit right at the line of scrimmage, but he squirmed out of that one and then got about eight yards on the carry on third and one. Well, I hope the old theory about that the uh, first series of the second half sets the tone for the second half. I hope that's uh, wrong. Actually, that time we missed tackles. Yes, we did. The option, and the guy is not going to fix the ball on the option. First and ten at the Cowboy 24. First possession of the second half for either team. USD has marched four minutes now. Started at their 26. They're at the Cowboy 24. They've done it all, almost all, right on the ground. We're tightening up inside the 20. Shepard under center. Gives to Allen right up the middle. Running room and more. Ten-yard line, eight-yard line. First and goal USD. Their offensive line is pushing us around, Johnny. That's all there is yeah. to it. They really are. It's our two inside tackles, you know, the guys that have been playing yep. so good for us. Now they're, now they're substituting for one now. Mm -hmm. But that's the guys that are coming at Went in some battles up front, and Allen is a good little tailback. It'll be first and goal, South Dakota, at the Cowboy 7. Shepard is up under center. Allen is the tailback behind him. Fullback is in motion right to left. Rolling right is Shepard, wants to throw, sets it up to throw back the other way, it's caught, out of bounds at about the two-yard line, making a grab was the tight end, Cronin, and they'll be second and goal at the two. Poor Tom, that ball was thrown a long way back across the field. It looked like we would have had time to intercept that ball, but it was on the line. And it came, he ran all the way to the right hash mark and threw all the way back to the boundary on the other side. Second and goal at the Cowboy two. USD was at the Cowboy 2 in the first half and fumbled it away. And now a timeout has been called. Who called it? I bet the Cowboys did. I would yes, it is. Yeah. The Cowboys called a timeout. 10-17 to go third quarter. Cowboys lead 21-0. USD threatening to score. Back in one minute on the McNeese Sports Network. In southwest Louisiana, we value the safety of our loved ones and the security of our families. But when this very security is threatened by personal injury due to the carelessness of others, you need to know your rights and where you can go for answers. We've been helping seriously injured people for over 30 years. As a lawyer with personal injury experience, I understand the value of security and how much we stand to lose by not having it. Vice Palermo and Veron, your experienced litigation team. Papa, it's time for being All-Star Challenge! That's right, Gabby. We're challenging all other dealers. This is the All-Star Challenge! That's right, we're challenging those dealers of this new Yukon that's got that new flex fuel engine and gets great gas mileage. These new GMC trucks drive so smooth, even us girls love them. And All-Star challenges all other dealers on the price of these new trucks and high trade-in dollars that never go down. Hey, Papa, what's the trade-in for this? We are professional grade. Cowboys forced to call a timeout. <laughs> Facing uh, second and goal, USD is facing second and goal at the Cowboys two-yard line. As the Cowboys needed to get their defensive, yeah. Uh, I think they were their substitutions were not right there. Uh, this is what I wanted to present. Uh, if we said, well, what do we want to do for this half? We need, to, we should have put a break in this. Got the defense off the field, yeah. and this long drive is a long drive for everybody, the defense and the offense. Yeah. Now. 
Uh, the word we hadn't used as much this year, but we always do. If they do happen to score, we got to answer. You know, we got to keep their offense down on the bench, and we got to we got to move the ball. Second and goal with the two high formation behind Shepard. Allen is the tailback. Evans is the fullback. A give to Allen up the middle. A bounce it to the outside. He will be dragged down. Flag is down. Hey, Smith. You think so? Yeah. Cowboys have the football in the end zone. Hey, Smith. I thought he grabbed him by the, the collar there. I uh, hope. Uh, well, it might even be that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think it's Big Smith. I think uh, where the flag was thrown. It, uh, it only uh, I couldn't see anything. Whoops. Nope, it's going to be a it's going to be half the distance, whatever it is, because uh, I think it's a fake man. Let's, let's, here's right. the call from the official. All right. Personal foul, face mask. Oh, well, that's an automatic first down. Yeah, big deal, half the yeah. distance. Though. Half yeah. the distance, but they get a new set yeah. down. It would have right. been third and goal. Instead, it's going to be first and goal yeah. because of the – actually, it would have been second and goal. Now it will be first and goal. And uh, they'll be inside the one. Uh, if they score, we got to answer. we got to answer. we got to say, okay – we don't play this game. We're going to do the same thing that you, you did us. Uh, Quarterback sneak. Shepard into the end zone for the touchdown. The Coyotes are on the board for the first time. It's a one-yard touchdown run for Noah Shepard. And they made that look very, very easy. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, we're looking at each other and saying that was much too yeah. easy, you know, and much too, much too quick. It took uh, almost five minutes to do that. 10.06 is the time right now as we get live fires on to try the extra point here. The whole game is like slowing down a little bit. We only we're just really starting the second half. Yeah, we haven't had the ball yet in the second half. They took yeah. that from their 26 and basically just ran it right down our throats. Uh, their offensive line cleared some big holes. There's a lot to be said about intangibles in football. Momentum. I mean, yeah. there is a lot to be said about momentum and, and what it does to your whole bench, your fans, everybody else. Low snap, hold is down, and Light Park's kick is. Good, right off the dodge sign, back behind the end zone. So a long touchdown drive of 74 yards, a one-yard touchdown run by Shepard gets USD on the board. Cowboys still lead it 21-7, 10-06 to play third quarter. Back in one minute on the New Sports Network. Back in one minute on the New Sports Network. I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. Through wind and rain, storms and sunshine, we're always working hard to earn your trust and confidence. Always working hard to make a difference because we live here too. For service and information, visit Entergy.com. Entergy, the power of people. A one-yard touchdown run by Noah Shepard. USD on the board, first possession for either team in the second half, and South Dakota makes the most of it with the touchdown drive. Cowboys lead it 21-7 and look to get the ball for the first time here in the second half, see if they can do something with it, get the momentum, momentum of this ball game right back where it was prior to the half. we got to leave our defense on the bench for at least, at the very least, two series. Yeah. White parts will kick. We'll kick it high. Fairly short. Carlise Franklin will take it at the 10. 15, 20, 25. Out across the 30, 33 yard line. Boy, Carlise kept fighting it through there. The Cowboys start with pretty good field position at their 33. It's a big drive here. Really yeah. big drive. Need to, uh, if we don't score and get points out of it, we need to turn the ball over way down in the yeah. minus end of the field. And, and and if we're going to allow another drive like they did before, make it a long, long drive for, and a long time drive. But uh, we need to hold on to football. First and ten, the Cowboys start the second half with Neely Hubbard as their tailback. Uh, 
Jamie Leonard left in the first series and has not returned. Hubbard will get the carry, and he'll get some running room. He'll get three, maybe four yards over the right side. Second down and a good six to go for the Cowboys. It would be a nice time now to establish our, our dominance in the in the offensive line versus their defensive line like happened uh, midway in the second quarter. Correct. Yeah, well, or like their offensive line just did to Al. Yeah, right. Oh, exactly. Everything seemed to be inside, though. Everything seemed to be in the back. Correct. A long six to go on second down for the Cowboys. Peru in the shotgun. Peru will run it himself. He'll dance for some yardage across the 40, near the 41. That's going to be about three yards, maybe four yards on the carry. And then it's going to leave a third down and a long two. No, a short two for the Cowboys. If I had to, if I had to, then you really got a nitpick to say something that Peru needs to do, and that is fall forward more. He yeah. keeps struggling for the extra yards. He seems to turn himself around, and the and the forward point of the ball is not headed in the other direction. That was an example of it there. Here's exactly. the third and two. Peru is up under center. Hubbard is the tailback. Here's a big down. Mm -hmm. Mang and the tight end goes in motion. Give to Hubbard left side. Pushing forward and appears to have the first down with that third. It's going to be very close. But boy, Neely kept those feet chugging. Oh, he's going to get a terrible spot of the ball. Ooh, bad, bad spot of the football by the line judge over here on this side. It's going to be short. Let's go to Richard and see if he can see it. Rich, can you tell? I guess Richard heard it. Uh, on the other side of the James here, as we get close to the fourth, that's going to be short by just over the length of a football. We're going to go for it. Yeah, I think we need to. I think we need to reestablish ourselves in this ball game. That was a difficult spot. I, 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 I never had trusted it. the guy coming so far yeah. to make the spot in a bunch of folks. Peru. Oh, he got it. Well, keep it himself and... They'll just have to unpile and decide where. I don't know. Oh, I don't. Now this guy is just—he's waiting too long. Yeah. Uh oh. This gonna be close now. I, I thought we had it from the snap. Well, and it depends on which linesman they use. Well, Peru went forward. Oh, uh, and it's the same linesman, and he gave us another terrible spot. Yeah, that's right. Twice in a row we went forward. He, he he gave us bad spots on two consecutive plays, and if he'd have used the linesman across the way... He's not, look, he's not coming in. He's he, not coming in quick enough. That's right. If you would have used the lineman across the way twice in a row, it would have been a first down. I don't know if it is now. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think, I think it's either. a very, very bad spot break-wise. I'm, I'm not saying he made an incorrect call. I'm just saying that one guy was at least a foot and a half farther on both of those. Nope. See, I thought Derek not only got a stuff then made another forward line. Yep. So we did not get it, and they take over at our 43. The momentum is entirely in South Dakota's side of the football right now. They are up and excited. The Cowboys failed to get a first down in their first possession of the second half, and in fact turn it over on downs in their own territory. Well, I think it's a bad spot, but I... Well, I don't know if it's an yeah. incorrect spot, I, but I, I do I, know that the other guy, yeah. the other guy was a foot and a half farther down on both of those last two. Well, it's, I it's, just, I don't know who's correct. Well, we, have, we, we should have made more yards. Yes, we should have. Yeah. All right, here we go. we got to play defense now. we got to we got to stop this for the first down for USC. Cowboy 43-yard line. Shepard is up under center. Allen is the tailback. A pair of tight ends in the game. Option play near side. Now he's going to drop back looking to throw, and he's going to look to throw deep. He's got a man near the goal line. Incomplete through the hands of the intended receiver. Dan Skelly, a Cowboy defender, was right there and oh, had yeah. a hand up there. I don't know if he got a piece of it. Or Skelly so. just dropped it. I think he just dropped it. Ooh. Wow. That was off the option. You know? Uh, yeah. But, I don't, but he didn't have the defensive back food. You know, I, we right. Just, that guy, the, 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 first of all, the quarterback could throw the football. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy got behind our defensive back. They have been deep. Uh, they've been open deep on us several times yeah. in the ball game. They've yet to now they've connected once. I think once out of about five attempts. Well, an option pass is, is a tough pass to handle when you're running the ball every down. Second and ten for the Cowboy 43. Shepard is up under center. Quick drop wants to throw. Incomplete. Trying to hit Murphy over on the near sideline, and it's third and ten. Well, it's a lot easier to play when it's third and ten than when yeah. it's second and short, isn't it? Well, it's third and ten, and uh, and that and your, your probability of him throwing a pass is a lot higher. Yeah. And uh, a guy like Smith can just line up and come. Now, where is Smith? Not in the ball game. Oh no! Don't tell. Me. He's not. He's not in the ball game. Smith not in the game? Sure isn't. This is the biggest play of the game right here. Third and ten. USC with three receivers left. 
Tight end will line up on the right side. Shepard in the shotgun. As Allen, the tailback, beside him on his left. Shepard to throw. Throws far side, looking for a deep pass incomplete. Murphy, the intended receiver. That one was overthrown. He had a step on his defender, Biggers, over there, but uh, overthrew him by a fair margin. Let's see what they're going to do. They're going to punt it away, it would appear, on fourth and ten at the 43, and try to pin the Cowboys back. We kind of dodged the bullet there. Not yeah, having, it is. Not having Smitty in the game. Into the game is Stanek. Now we got to be careful. we got to let this one go in the end zone. Stanek is over there on the left side. Watch him move back. Or will they run a fake here? There goes the punter back into position. Franklin back deep at his 12-yard line. Awaiting Stanek's punt. Stanek has been very good tonight. You know what, Tom? That makes you keep your defensive team on the field and not your punt return team. High kick near sideline. Looks like he's going to try to kick to the coffee corner. And looks like he'll pin the Cowboys inside the 20. We'll wait to see where the spot is. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. He's out to the 15-yard line and stops right there. First down, Cowboys from their own 15. 21-7, Polk, 7.34 left third quarter. Yeah, that is, I, I guess that's, that's why they do it. It's yeah. to make you not substitute your punt return team. Correct. There is a timeout on the field. We'll stay right here with you. We'll see if Richard has something for us down on the sideline. Rich? Yeah, we just, we're talking about Brian Smith not being in the game. No injury. Joshua Ellison has uh, actually been playing a together set of downs for the uh, Cowboys. He's been doing that basically since Southern Utah last week. So uh, you saw Smith was out of the game quite a bit. Towards the end, Ellison has earned himself some more time and given the big guy a little bit of rest to play a bigger factor in, in uh, fourth fourth quarter type of game. Thanks, Rich. 21-7 Cowboys, 7.34 to go third quarter. The folks need just what we talked about last drive. They need now as well. They need a good, long, sustained drive. And if they don't answer with points, they certainly need to uh, turn it over deep in, in uh, South Dakota territory here and get the uh, defense off the field for a while. You know, I wonder if they use that same punt formation against teams that don't have offensive players running their punts back. <laughs> yeah. You know, make your whole defensive mm -hmm. team stay on the field and then... We have to do something with Carlise, probably teaching how to play free safety if they if they stay in that formation. Exactly. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. And we're gonna we're gonna have a long drive here, about what 85 yards, starting at the 15. Elric Jones is the tailback for the Cowboys. The Cowboys are at the line of scrimmage because they're they're gonna make them hold on for just a moment. Now they're set to go. Threw up under center on first down. Play fake. Peru wants to throw. Sets up and throws. He's got Mangan out near the 30-yard line. Wes Mangan went behind him to make a good grab on that pass, and that'll be a Cowboy first down, a gain of 14 on the play. You know, Tom, it's an old cliche. It's a game of inches, and the game of inches are favoring us because they've had a bunch of inches. Yeah. That's right close. Very close. Johnson checks out for the Cowboys, and another receiver comes in for the folks. The big first down there. Jones is the tailback. Peru is the quarterback in the shotgun with two receivers right, one to the left. Play fake. Peru sets up the throw. He's going to tuck it and run. He's got some room. And he'll get out oh. near the 40-yard line. He's at the 39. That's very close to a Cowboy first down. We'll see where they spot the ball. Well, the same linesman has done it to us again. I think we're going to be short. It's going to leave a second and less than a yard. Yeah, I'm not saying he's incorrect on those spots. It's just that the linesman across the way is always about a foot or a foot and a half farther down. He just waits too long. He waits and he too long. Good, yeah. Yeah. Second and a foot for the Cowboys. Peru in the shotgun. And he talks to the coach on the sideline. I don't like that. Either. Peru. Oh, keeps it himself. Running room, midfield, to the 49-yard line of South Dakota. I thought they'd given the ball to Elric Jones. So did all of South Dakota, I think, there, as um, Jones was really nailed hard in the backfield, and that would have been bad news for the Cowboys. Instead, Peru kept it on that option read. He's got good yardage to the 48 of the Coyotes. But, you know, he's always taking the initiative and being the leader when that back clamps down on it. When he clamps, he, there's not going to be a fumble. You know, he's going right. to pull it out or he's going to leave it or whatever he does. But he's going to, he's not going to leave it on the ground. With Leonard out of the game, Peru is our leading rusher. 13 carries, 54 yards, and a touchdown. 
Jones the tailback now. Peru is up under center. Play fake wants to set up the throw and does. And he hits Quentin Lawrence for a first down inside the 35 of South Dakota. Okay, now we're getting now we're getting close to the answer. Now yeah. Peru, Peru is down. He's up and is okay, it appears. He better get out. He takes some hits, too. <laughs> he does take some hits. Early in the season, he, his head was bouncing yeah. back. Uh, Remember last year at South Florida, yeah, oh, beating good took his first yeah. start as a collegiate quarterback. Yeah, he play, that's the way he plays. Yeah, he does. He plays the game. You wouldn't want him to play any other way. And we knew South Florida was pretty talented when we went down there. Well, they beat West Virginia on Friday night. What the sixth-ranked team in the country? Yeah. What they beat somebody else before that? Who was it? Uh, uh, Auburn. Auburn. Yeah. First down, Cowboys at the 33. High formation. Draw play. Jones runs to the right. He's got some room. Looks like he got five or six over there, carrying inside the 30 on the right side. You know, this bunch is, is, is well prepared for it. They're going to go 1A next year. Yeah. And they, they are well, well prepared they're, for it. They're ready for it, just yeah. like South Dakota State was. And, of course, North Dakota State may be the best of that whole Dakota bunch in the transition. Well, they got, I think they got, I think they got 40 scholarships. And they got 98 players on their roster. Wow. So they probably got some guys mm -hmm. that are trying, biding their time to get next year where they can jet their scholarships up to about 23. Second and four. Franklin in motion. Peru under center. Pitches it to Jones, trying to turn the corner on the right side. And he is near first down. Let's see where he stepped out of bounds. I haven't seen that play in a while. No, nope, that's that little, what, what, what do we use? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we use it on the goal line a lot. The reverse option, we called it. It's a bit of a misdirection play. Yeah. Jones is going to be half a yard shy of the first down. This is going to be a big third down now, less than a yard to go. Yeah, well, we learned our lesson a while ago. Well, let's go ahead and get this, get the heavy offense yeah. in there and get this right now. And don't leave it to be a, a fourth yeah. and short. Cowboys are right at a half a yard short of the first down. They need to get just inside the 23. They are just a little outside of that. Jones with a carry. I don't know. I don't either. Well, let's check his spot. Let that guy spot him. He's better than this guy. Man, I can smell that barbecue from across the street. Okay, so you marinate and cook with it? The ribs you cooked before the game were unbelievable. How do you make barbecue smell like that? You've got to give me your recipe for grilled fish. You can use Southern on all of this? Dad, these burgers are awesome! After 50 years, any cook who uses Southern barbecue sauce has heard it all. Southern barbecue sauce, the South's finest barbecue sauce since 1957. I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. Hubbard is the tailback. Play fake. Peru is in trouble. Will throw. And it's incomplete. Hubbard, or excuse me, uh, Peru is in a big time pass rush there. And he threw it without knowing where his receiver was. He knew the area. And it was Mangan who was closest over there. Mangan couldn't come up with it. Peru did a good job just getting rid of it. You know, Tom, you think about it. Hubbard carried two people a long way. You know, I'd say maybe 10 yards, 7 to 10 yards. Second goal with the four. That was the defensive end who got in on Peru that time. It was not a blitz. Peru from the shotgun on second and goal. Mangan will switch sides now. Give to Hubbard. Nothing there. Got a yard to the three. It's going to be third and goal at the three-yard line. It's a big play. It is. See what they could come up with, coaching staff right next to us. You know, one thing, Tom, is the right hash mark is the worst angle in the world for a uh, field goal. Yeah. The, early, the, the further you get down the field. So I'd say something to the left. Now, boys, will Unless it's a huddle. pass. If it's a pass, it's not a bad angle because you're yeah. back far enough. If it's a run on about the one-yard line, it's a tough angle. They're at the three-and-a-half. Play fake, Peru. Steps up, wants to throw, does throw, caught, touchdown, blue side, the tight end, 
in with a score. They faced the Colonel play and threw it the other way. Peru had to avoid a rushing tackler, and he makes the throw into the end zone for the touchdown, Cowboys. And now, how many times has Peru broken a tackle? I consider that a break in a tackle, you know? Yeah. Either broke a tackle or, or avoided one, it yep. somebody or something, but... Boy, he has just been remarkable. Having a great game, isn't he? Second uh, touchdown pass of the game for Peru. First touchdown pass of the year, I believe, for Broussard on the reception. Score comes with 2.45 left in the third, and the extra point try is good. Cowboys lead it 28-7, 2.45 to play third quarter. Back in one minute on the McNeese Sports Network. Papa, it's time for the All-Star Challenge. That's right, Gabby. We're challenging all other dealers. This is the All-Star Challenge. That's right, we're challenging those dealers of this new Yukon that's got that new flex fuel engine and gives great gas mileage. These new GMC trucks drive so smooth, even us girls love them. And All-Star challenges all other dealers on the price of these new trucks and high trade-in dollars that never go down. Hey, Papa, what's the trade-in for this? We are professional grade. Transformer Sector 2. Through wind and rain, storms and sunshine, we're always working hard to earn your trust and confidence. Always working hard to make a difference because we live here too. For service and information, visit Entergy.com. Entergy, the power of people. Derek Peru with a three-yard touchdown pass to Brandon Broussard. They're going to call it a four-yard touchdown pass officially. Broussard with the score. Cowboys lead it 28-7. to That was a big one right there as South Dakota has played pretty well here in the third quarter. The Cowboys played them even now, each team scoring a touchdown. Folks set to kick off. Perkowski back deep along with Christie going to go to, uh, this is Robinson, we'll take it at the three. Hit and take it down at about the 15-yard line. Big hit there by, who is that, Quay Hagen on special teams. And who was it? Was that, was that Jim that uh, that almost made the play? Yeah, I think J- Garen Jim went down there and broke through the yeah. the uh, wall. <laughs> and that allowed Quay Hagen to make the stop at the 16-yard line. Let's go to Richard. Sounds like he's got something for us on the sideline. Rich? Well, I tell you what, Johnny and I were talking about it at halftime. Trey Pitt and uh, Garrett Jim is flying down the field. He makes the original contact, and Corey Hagen able to mop it up. What a way for the Cowboys to answer now inside the 20-yard line, and the Cowboys need to come out, and uh, they look to have done some adjustments for that running game during that last break. First and 10 for South Dakota. I formation behind Shepard. Give to Allen, who moves to the outside and gets some pretty good yardage out across the 20. That's going to be about a seven-yard gain, second down and three. Richard, I hope at the, at the end of this game, if we are up enough, that they do get a chance to throw Richard down the ball. Yeah, you know, Rich had a little a mishap with the football in, uh, in Cedar City last week. Sorry, we're losing a crowd by here. Mentally, it gives to Allen. He's trying to turn the corner on the left side, and he'll get the first down, and he'll get some more. He's out across the 30, and it'll be a first down for South Dakota right there. You know, I can sure see where Allen, in, in that in the Division Two, yeah. could be a, a heck of a, a ground gainer. He's no just, kidding. You know, he, he's got he can turn the corner. 650 yards coming into tonight, and Ooh. now. He has 117 in this ball game against a very good Cowboy defense. He's not big. He doesn't look no, big. He's, he's small. He's 5'8", 180. And he's, he's been the guy that's been running up the, right, up the middle. right up the middle. First and 10, South Dakota. They're at their 32-yard line. Late in the third quarter, Cowboys lead 28-7. Right up the middle, Allen. Running room. Closes quickly. He got about three to the 35. Second down and seven right there. Well, you've got to keep these guys at the third and longs or second and longs because they have been very, very good getting 10 or 12 yards in a chunk when they've been second and three and second and two, those type of yardages. We've got a new tailback in that Matt Lee. He's even smaller than Noah Allen is. 5'6", 149, they list Matt Lee at. 
We got to quit scheduling teams that are good. Nobody knows they're good except us. You see those guys that uh, Scott Pendarvis has got those. Uh, Back to throw Shepard, throws near side. It is caught first down and more inside the Cowboys 35 is Brooks Little. Threw it up high, and Little really was in the best position there to gather in the rebound, so to speak, as it was fairly well covered here on the near sideline, but came down into the arms of Brooks Little for a big gainer. 31 yards to the Cowboys, 34, first down, South Dakota. Clock runs with 52 seconds left here in the third. Let it run. Shepard up under center. Option play. He's hit. Pushes forward for a couple. Tom, that's, the strange, that's the strangest play. They don't even think about pitching the ball. No, no, not at if all. You commit your. Uh, you got to commit the assignment guy to that pitch. It's got to be there. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. I guess in that situation, yeah. be the cornerback. But I mean, it's it's a play that, that may just put you to sleep out yeah. there, and eventually they'll come back to it. Scott Vendorvis, who played in Europe last year, had some of his uh, teammates from that uh, football team oh, yeah. uh, from England, I think, and uh, they were <laughs> not a very good bunch. <laughs> Second and it gave him three on the carry. Second and seventh, the Cowboys 31. Shepard up under center. Allen back in the game at tailback. Back into an eye formation. Allen will get the carry. He'll get decent yardage, about four to the 27-yard line. It's going to leave a third down and a short three for South Dakota. And a big play right here for the Coyotes. Well, no, it won't be right here because the third quarter has come to an end. And the three, Cowboys 28. South Dakota 7 back in a minute on the East Sports Network. Transformer Sector 2. Through wind and rain, storms and sunshine, we're always working hard to earn your trust and confidence. Always working hard to make a difference because we live here too. For service and information, visit Entergy.com. Entergy, the power of people. At Nissan of Lake Charles, we're having a September to remember. Remember this, Pathfinder, Quest Van or Maxima for $24.9. And remember, if you want a car, truck, or van at Nissan of Lake Charles, we're making deals every day. Hi, John Stelly here, inviting you to our pre owned Super Center Extravaganza and get an 04 Ultima for only $13.9. And remember, if you want a car, truck, or van, we're making deals every day. To the fourth quarter we go. Cowboys leading 28 to 7. Each team with a touchdown there in the third. We've seen the South Dakota offense come to life. Their rushing game has been very, very good here in the second half. They now have uh, 129 yards on the night. That's a little bit misleading. Al uh, Allen himself has 134, but they lost 27 yards on that punt snap. That was bad. So the team stats don't look so good. Big third down. Third and just about two. Well, they're overloaded over here. They got a, the only, only guy they got on the right side is an offensive tackle. I hope it's not a tackle else. You know, see, they got a tackle on the right side, and, and every other receiver's over here. And to get to the tailback, Allen. He's got running room. He's got the first down. He's got more. He's to the Cowboys' 15-yard line. Well, they just they backed had, it up on the left side. They had everybody over here. Well, let's they, see if yeah. you can stop this, folks. They had two tight ends over here. They had everybody. And on the back side, they had a guard and tackle. So first down, USD, Cowboy. 15-yard line. Hopes lead it 28-7. to South Dakota threatening in the red zone once again. I formation behind Shepard. And a give to Allen right up the middle. Running room and more. First down inside the five is to the four-yard line. We still don't have Smith in the game. Allen earlier was, was the beneficiary of some very large holes that they were blowing open. Right now, he seems to be doing that mostly on his own. Yeah. Let's see if Smith's back in, if they just put him in. No. First and goal, South Dakota at the Cowboy four-yard line. Two receivers will split out to the right side. Eye formation behind Shepard. Allen and Evans in the eye. Lost the ball. Who's got it? I think they have it. Back at the six-yard line, 
I think they went this way. Now, what's happening now, I don't know. Yeah, it's a scrum now. I thought Cowboy football. Hey guys, what a break for the Cowboys once again. I thought the quarterback fell on He basically left the snap on the ground. That is a break. Yeah, that's the break. That's the white stand fumble now inside the five-yard line. I mean, yeah. Cowboys survive another penetration by South Dakota inside the five. Now, don't you know they are frustrated? Yeah. That is the second fumble that they have lost. They fumbled it three times and lost two. The Cowboys have fumbled three times and not lost any. Now the Cowboys just need to get us some breathing room with the offense here. But it's, it's where they fumbled. Yeah. They've had their scoring chances in the ball game, fumbling inside the Cowboy 10 twice and also missing a field goal. This is Spotno at quarterback for the Cowboys. He'll give it to Chris Bush running left. And he's in trouble. He'll lose yardage back at the two-yard line. Chris Bush needs to run north and south. We were very close to safety at yeah. point of time in that run. Yeah, absolutely. So it'll be second down and long. In the fourth quarter now, Cowboys hanging on to a 28-7 lead. we got to get out of this one. Yeah, we do. Yeah. we got to get out of this hole and get the momentum back. And, you know, a, a big play or even a score of some kind would really... But perhaps shut the Coyotes down, but they are really playing well on offense, just not getting much out of it right now. You know, total offense, they have 284, we have 319. We're right there together. Take away that 27 on the snap, and we're even just about. Botno to throw. Throws near side. Friddle makes the grab, trying to break free. Has the first down out across the 15. He's near the 20-yard line. Nice looking play, a little hitch there and go. Friddle with the grab and really did well with the football after making a catch. Wasn't uh Fontenot like uh, seven for eight or eight for nine or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you thought, yeah. It sure was. So this is another one in, in uh, completion. Put the ball at the 19-yard line. First down, Cowboys. Clock moves with 13.09 to go in the ball game. Cowboys up 28-7. Not been easy, folks. They sound like it on the scoreboard. That's not been the case. Fontenot no shotgun. Bush is the tailback standing beside him. Play fake. Fontenot to throw. He will throw, and he'll throw long. Smothers is bumped. No flag. There was all kinds of contact, but I guess they're going to rule it's incidental. No doubt that Ramon Smothers, who was running down the far sideline, was knocked off of his route there with the ball in the air, but they're going to say incidental contact. Well, I think, he was, I think his progress was impeded, and I think that's part of the... Uh, that's part of the uh, uh, pass interference. Pass interference because you can say it's un- uncatchable, but you can't say how much, if he weren't in- yeah. impeded, that he would still be down the field. I don't think they ruled it uncatchable. I think they they ruled it not uh, uh, not interference. I think they said that was uh, incidental contact. So second out of ten, Cowboys at their 19. Fox, no. Real quick wide receiver screen. Franklin trying to get a block. Makes a move, and another, has the first down outside the 30. That was sensational from Carly Frank, but he's having a nice night. Yeah, and I think I think that a lot can be said for Carly Franklin, uh, knowing that Whitehead is not playing, and knowing that he has to be the guy, and uh, and coming through, yeah. doing that. You know? Franklin now, I believe, has gone over 100 yards receiving on the uh, night. Yeah, five catches, 102 yards for Carly with that reception. First and 10 Cowboys from their 33. 12.36 to go in the game. Cowboys up 28-7. Fontenot in the shotgun. We'll give it to Bush up the middle. He breaks the tackle. And another. Near midfield with a first down. Chris Bush with his best run of the night. Well, that's almost... Hey, here, you take this. You did this to us. Now, we're going to give it back to you. He is at the Cowboy 49-yard line with another first down. All right, this drive started at the five after the fumble. It's gotten it back to midfield, so even if they're forced to punt now, they have a good chance of pinning South Dakota back in deep. The offense has done their job at least to this point. A receiver to the left, that's Quentin Lawrence. Two to the right, Connor and Franklin. Fought no shotgun. And it gives the Bush once again. He'll push for about three yards into Coyote territory. Maybe even four yards at the 47, depending on the spot of the ball. Tom, if you get uh, Richard again, find out if, if I mean, I, I, I assume that this is just a uh, 
a standard thing with Fontenot, but just just in case yeah. that there's that Peru is just is okay. Richard, give us uh, give us a word on that if you can. Any uh, any idea if this is just a planned thing or if guys, uh, I, I missed that. Uh, uh, is Peru? Difficulty, Jim. I'll come back to you. All right, thanks, Rich. Fontenot on second and six. Back to throw. Has time and does throw. It's going to be caught by Quentin Lawrence. First down, Cowboys. 34-yard line of South Dakota. Boy, that was a nice look at pass from Fontenot. That's pretty sharp. Sure. Nothing surprised me about Fontenot. Now, Fontenot is one heck of a player. I'm just I'm just wanting both of them to go through this season, you know, having both of them around. Uh, I don't think we lose much if Mark goes in the ball game just like this. I'm just wanting to make sure that the uh, we got both of them. See if Richard can hear. We were just wondering if Peru was okay, if this was just a scheduled series for Fontenot. I'm pretty sure it's just because of Siri Fun has been actually warming up since the half started. All right, good deal. Thanks, Rich. First and ten at the 34 of South Dakota. Cowboys jumped, I believe. And, yes, the flags will fly. That'll make it first and 15 back at the 39. Well, it's been a good night for penalties. The Cowboys have really done a good job on the penalties. That's their fifth one. South Dakota with only two penalties in the ball game. Second and, no, oh, actually first and 15 at the 39. You know, uh, who is, is it Pittsburgh State that's real good in Division Two? Yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, I saw them on television one day, and, I, and I'm not so sure this bunch is not just as good. Well, they're ranked, they they're yeah. ranked 14th in Division Two. Yeah. so think of the quality of some of those other teams. It's their last year in Division Two, too. Bush runs up the middle. Broke some tackles, pushes forward. Good run by Chris Bush. He got the penalty yardage back at about six more. Good job by Chris. Another good, strong run. He loves to run in the fourth quarter. You know, all of that bunch that comes out, I say coming out from the division up in the Dakotas yeah. and everything, have come out in 1A yeah. style, you know? Yeah. They, they were all three of the four Dakota schools, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Dakota State, South Dakota State, three of them are in the transition from Division Two. Uh, to one AA or one FCS, and they're all quality. And in North Dakota is the one that's still in Division Two, and they're good quality Division Two. Yeah. Second and three after the good run by Bush, and now what? A timeout. Cowboys have called a timeout. Ten minutes to go in the football game. Cowboys leading 28-7. We'll take a one-minute break to the back on the Michigan Sports Network. That's right, Gabby. We challenge you all other dealers. This is the All-Star Challenge. That's right. We're challenging those dealers of this new Yukon that's got that new flex fuel engine and gets great gas mileage. When can I talk? Here at All-Star, we not only challenge you with price, but we challenge you with style. And don't forget, All-Star is a family dealer where we treat you like a family. Hey, Papa, what's the trade in for this? We are professional grade. Hi, I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. Each team with a touchdown here in the second half. Cowboys led it 21 nothing at the intermission with all three of those scores coming in the second quarter. Sounds like the Cowboys are having their way with the Coyotes tonight, but it's really not been the case. South Dakota has fumbled twice inside the Cowboys' 10. They've also missed a field goal. So it could be much closer. It's been closely contested the whole way. Second and three, Fontenot at quarterback, up under center now. Play fake wants to throw. Under pressure, he will throw. And it's going to be caught by the tight end, Broussard, right at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be taken down for no gain, maybe even lost the yard. That'll set up third, three or four. You know, Tom, I'll make a profound statement. Of the three of the three games we've played, one of them being a 1A two and everything, this team is as good as all of them. No, no doubt about it. You know, all right, Portland State, ULL, yeah. uh, uh, Utah. This team is as it's, good as it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's a good team. Well coached, obviously. They, they call plays well. They have talent. Quarterback is good. The tailback is good. Here's the third and four. Fontenot up under center. Play fake. 
He'll give it to Franklin coming around the end. He's in deep trouble, and down he goes. In fact, we might have just lost yardage back outside of field goal range here. We'll see what the Cowboys would like to do on third, actually fourth and nine. This would be a 50-yard field goal from that location. Do you go ahead and let Blake first and Jake try that? Yeah. I think I you think do. So. You know, uh, I don't understand why everybody was waiting over there, unless they're just tired. I don't know. Like on the reverse, everybody was on the opposite side, just waiting over there, just hanging around. Uh, the Cowboys have the offense out there on fourth and nine, and they will break the huddle with Fontenot in the shotgun, two receivers to the right side and one to the left. Big fourth and nine, Fontenot to throw. Lots of time this time. He will throw. Lawrence makes the grab. Did he stay in bounds? He did. First yes. down, Cowboys. Oh, that's a great Beautiful game. catch by Clinton Lawrence and a bullet throw once again by Fontenot. Yeah. Cowboys convert on the out route to the sideline over on the far side of the Cowboy bench. Let's watch the replay on the scoreboard. You yeah. know, uh, we've said this from day one. Mark Fontenot throws that route as well as anybody yeah. we've seen. And Quentin Lawrence did a great job. You only need yeah. one foot in college, and he got that one toe dragging right there at the 13-yard line. Or, excuse me, the 23-yard line, first and 10 Cowboys. Did I say kick a field goal? <laughs> I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking of versus Jay at, at uh, Mississippi Southern, Southern Miss. Bush on the carry, running room, trying to turn the corner right side. Tripped up at about the 11-yard line. It'll be a Cowboy first down. Chris Bush is having a nice drive here. You know, we always talk about, uh, in a game, about the defense getting tired. Oh, we got a penalty. Oh. Defense getting tired. The defense, you know, the offense gets tired, too. I'd say Bush was tired. What did we get? Oh, I penalty? don't know. Looks like they're coming back, that's for sure. We'll see if we get the official call. Holy. Well. From the offense, number 26. Ten yards from the previous spot. We play first down. Okay, it'll be first and 20, back outside the 30 at the 32-yard line. Well, we can't accuse them of, of calling the holding penalties only late in the game. Yeah. The first play of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the Cowboys' sixth penalty. 39 yards now in penalties for the Cowboys. Much better than last week. But 8.16 left to go in the game. There's still time to pad that stat a little bit. Cowboys leading 28-7. We said keep the penalties under 50 yards. So far, so good. Shotgun. Fuck no. Inside give for Pendlin, not much there. He got a yard or two, maybe to the 30-yard line. Stacked up by the Coyotes. Going to be second down and about 18. It was a great call for this. They don't know how to pronounce Coyotes. You know, <laughs> uh -huh. you know as a, as, when the first guy went to the Dakotas and he said, there's a Coyote out there. You know, everybody yeah. else in the other states might have been saying Coyotes. Interesting theory. Yeah. Well, the coaching language yeah, that, that, skills. Yeah. That's like, I'm okay, the world's wrong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going up there next year to South Dakota State and yeah. visit these guys in two years or three years, I'm not certain which, All right. when they've completed their 1AA transformation. Fontenot throws, Franklin receives. Crosses the 20, he's to the 19-yard line, and it's going to be third down, still about six for the Cowboys, maybe five if they spotted at the 18-yard line. It was a nice reception on a little wide receiver screen. Carly Franklin having a heck of a night. Uh, had 102 yards before that one. That one was good for over 10. 114 yards on the night for Carly now. You know, if uh, Quentin Lawrence and Frittle ever reach their potential, and if it, and if it happens in this year, and we got... Carly and, and those two, and, and, and even Whitehead coming back. That's as good as it gets. Third and six now, Cowboys. And a whistle. Timeout, Cowboys. 6.35 to go in the game. We'll take the timeout, too. Back in one minute on the McNeese Sports Network. Hi, I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless Internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. That's right, Gabby. We challenge all other dealers. This is the All-Star Challenge. That's right. We're challenging those dealers of this new Yukon that's got that new flex fuel engine and gets great gas mileage. 
When can I talk? Here at All Star, we not only challenge you with price, but we challenge you with style. And don't forget, All Star is a family dealer where we treat you like a family. Hey, Papa, what's the trade in for this? We are professional grade. Cowboys face third and six from the 18-yard line. 6.35 to go in the ballgame. Cowboys leading 28-7. to This has been a really nice drive for the Colts starting deep in their own territory at the five-yard line and really chewed up some clock and kept South Dakota's offense off the field. They might add some points before it's all said and done. Fontenot to throw. Quick throw to Frank on the left side. He's trying to turn the corner. Dodges one man. Can't lose the next. It's only about a two-yard gain. Fourth down, Cowboys. We'll see if they throw the kicking team out there now. Yeah, well, go. Yeah, here comes Blake first to Jake. Well, that's all right. Good drive. Yeah, really kept the ball for a long time. Chewed up a lot of clock. See if we get three points out of it. That would be nice. This is a big win. I think we were all a little bit concerned about this. You yeah. know, and uh, the big play guys brought us to it. And uh, we're going to be a little hit pitching now. Cause, yeah. But I tell you what, looking back on all of our games, we've been great. Connor spots it at the 23. First to Jay's kick has lots of leg. Kick is good. 5.50 to go in the game. Cowboys increase the lead to 31 to 7. We will take a one minute timeout. Be back with more Cowboys football right after this on the Big Sports Network. and sunshine we're always working hard to earn your trust and confidence always working hard to make a difference because we live here too for service and information visit energy.com energy the power of people Hi, I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. 5.49 to go in the ball game. Blake versus Jay with a 43-yard field goal. Gives the Cowboys a 31-7 lead. He's a weapon. He is. You know, we hadn't seen them attempt a field goal, have we? Uh, they missed a 42-yarder okay. late in the half. But it looks like their kicking game is pretty soft, too. They're punting. Yeah, they're punting. It's outstanding. Bad. Yeah. First of Jay will kick. Perkowski is back deep. So is Skelly. The high kick for Kowski will move over underneath it at the nine yard line. Go! <laughs> for Kowski breaks a tackle or two and takes it out across the 20 to the 21 yard line. He's stopped right there. Johnny likes to watch the breakaway. Well, that, was, that wasn't even Bennett. That was some other guy. Right? I think Jared Dolan might have been involved in that. And I, I like Jared Dolan. He's a player. South Dakota starts first and 10 at their 22 yard line. 5.42 to play in the ball game. Cowboys leading now 31-7. to Shepard will come out of the huddle for the Coyotes with a pair of receivers to the left, one to the right, eye formation behind him, so no tight end in the ball game. Actually, the tight end is lined up as a fullback. See if he moves over to the tight end spot. Nope. He's going to block for the draw play here, and Allen's got running room. He's got a first down out of the 35. Oh, come on now. Now, that should have been a penalty. Did you see that? Late hit? Yeah, tight end hit a guy in the back of the head. So that's the first down on the draw play. It gets about 13 for South Dakota. They will go without a huddle here. Clock will start when the chains are set, as they are now. 5.33 to go in the game. How many yards is Allen got? A lot. Under Shepard center. Under, start, under center. Rolls right now, looking to throw. He'll be chased. Now he'll throw on the run, and his receiver fell down, so it's incomplete. That was uh, Jordan Murphy, who was... Open inside Cowboy territory, but as he stopped to try to turn around and make the grab, his feet slid out from underneath him, and it's incomplete, second and ten. 170 yards. 170, wow. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, uh, it's kind of the bend don't break. At 31 to 7, let him have his 170. Well, yeah, if he wants to run now. <laughs> second and ten. 
Oh, we got Lee the tailback in now. He is short. Listed at 5'6". He is small, isn't he? On second down. Takes the draw. Shepard to throw. Throws near side. Underthrows his intended receiver, Little. Incomplete. Third and ten. We heard a lot of good things about Shepard, and he looked good early throwing the ball, but in the second half, his throwing has been much less effective in the running game for South Dakota with Shepard running the ball itself, and Allen especially, Amos Allen, that really looked sharp. The problem for them was that they were down 21 nothing and a half before that running game kicked into gear. Well, some of Shepard's best throws were the balls that were dropped. Yeah, oh, yeah. Here's the third and ten. Off stop with 5.14 to play. Cowboys fans, those still here in the stadium, are making some noise. And they'll run the draw play. And this is Allen staying on his feet, trying to turn the corner, hit and drop. He'll be about three or four yards shy of the first down. He had some running room, and it picked his way through a lot of traffic. You know, Tom, if we go next week to Texas State and win that game, doesn't matter whether it's handily or close yep. or whatever. And we come back here 5-0 and oh for Sam Houston. This place ought to be packed. It ought to be packed. Sitting on those hills exactly. everywhere. This is a great event for Lake Charles and, and uh, our coaches and everybody should be. They deserve it. They should deserving of that kind of uh, uh, reception by our fans. South Dakota will go for it on fourth and four. Shepard to throw. Quick drop, throws far side. Incomplete. He threw it behind his intended receiver. Murphy, who couldn't hang on, Cowboys hold, and with 4.30 to go, folks will have it in Coyote territory with the ball spotted at the 41-yard line. Let's go to uh, Richard down on the sideline. Rich, what's going on? Well, the coach is getting a chance to uh, get a little bit of everybody in. You just saw Brian Harvey uh, in there. Well, kind of the stop, incomplete pass there. Chris is a very high on Harvey. Got an interception last week, got a lot of playing time. Did a lot of the reserves sitting in here toward the late part of the game, and both coaches kind of silent up the ties. But you're right, guys. This is a tough South Dakota team. First down, Cowboys from the 41. Fontenot remains in a quarterback. I formation behind him. Fontenot will give to Jones. Ouch, he is hammered down after losing a yard or two. You know, sometimes we don't like to see a particular player out of the game uh, on a lot of instances, yeah. but it sure feels good to see those guys out of the game knowing they're not going to be hurt. Right. You know, I mean, we got some we got some guys that, that we cannot afford to lose. Correct. You know? Second and 12 after Elric Jones lost a couple. Jones has seen a good bit of time tonight, but hasn't had much to show for it with the Cowboys seeing Jamie Leonard go out early. Jones five carries for 11 yards. Fontenot under center with Jones still behind him. Another give to Elric Jones. He'll try the middle, and he'll get good yardage right up the gut. He's got about six or seven before he's tripped up. Probably the hardest thing to do, Tom, as a coach or anything, is a guy like uh, Brian Smith that's leading the nation in something. Yeah. And keeping him, bringing him out of the game. You know? I mean, knowing Brian Smith and, and Bennett anyway, yeah. it'd be hard to pull him out of the game anyway. But, you know, if statistically, if a guy is leading the nation, that's an awful tough thing to do is pull him out. But uh, it's the right thing to do a lot of times. You know, get him get him ready. He'll fight another battle later. Smith had two sacks in the ball game tonight, if you're keeping count. Here's the third down carry for Elric Jones running on the left side. He's close to a first down, but I think he's going to be a yard short at the 32. Clock down to three minutes to go. Bet you the Cowboys will go for it here on fourth down, just trying to keep the clock moving. It will be fourth and one, and the offense will stay out there. You'd be surprised these guys on offense right now. They want to score. Yeah. They want to you score, know, yeah. They want to block well. They want to get on the film. They want to look good, mm -hmm. you know. Less than a yard to go. Cowboys need to get right to the 31. They've got the nose of the football across the 32. Our backup players are scholarship players. Yeah. Their backup players are probably not. A lot of walk on of course, they don't have backups in there right now. Jones will get the carry. Ooh, he was kind of slipping down as he was hit. I'm not sure if he made it or not. We'll see about the spot of the ball. If it's the line judge on this side, I don't trust it to be a first down. If it's a guy yeah. across the way, it will be a first down. Well, you know, his, his feet were, look, his, I, I think he's marking his red. <laughs> but his feet were way ahead of the ball. First down, Cowboys. It didn't matter. They both spotted it well enough for the Cowboys to get the first down. Look at Coach, Coach Arden with the guy right in front of him. Well, no wonder he's been 
spot that's so bad is we get chewed on all night. First down, Cowboys. At well, they were friends. Yeah. I don't know when he made that bad spot. <laughs> he was on my enemies list at that point, but he's, he's kind of got back on the good side here lately. First and ten, Cowboys. I formation behind Fontenot. I think we are homers. Uh, a little bit. 31-7, folks. Two minutes to go in the game. And the fullback's going to get the carry. I don't even know who that is for the Cowboys. Who's number 23 playing fullback for the folks? Look it up. Oh, that's Ben Bourgeois. Look it up, I can't see. Freshman from Sulphur. Is that Ben? That's Ben. What are you talking about? A nice kid. Hey, that's a nice kid. He's playing fullback? That's where he is. First, uh, second down and five as Bourgeois gets the carry. What's he doing? I met him for the first time the other day. His dad played here. Yep. Coaching family. Second and five. Another carry for Bourgeois. And he got maybe three yards to the 23-yard line. That's going to set up a third and two. A minute 15 to go in the ballgame. Clock ticking. This one's decided now. The Cowboys are going to come out of here with a victory. 31-7 is the score now. It was not easy. Not easy, folks. Sounds like it. That'll look good to those voting in the uh, FCS poll, the 31-7 victory. But those of us who saw it know that this was a tough, tough game. It really was. Third and two. Bourgeois and Jones behind Fontenot. Get the Bourgeois right up the middle. Nothing doing. He'll spin and try to push forward. Might have gotten a yard. He did get a yard. It'll be fourth down Cowboys with the ball at the 22. And the Cowboys may not have to run another play here. Well, you, you know, the, the downside of it is that uh, Jamie Leonard, who is... Well, he's good. Uh, he was the best back yeah. on the field down at ULL. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, of course, Whitehead. And, uh, well, we hope we get Whitehead back. It, it's going to be the last play. The Cowboys don't have to run another one. It will be a 31-7 Cowboy victory. And the Cowboys are 4-0, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to get the victory over a tough South Dakota squad. And we'll see them again in a couple of years up in Vermillion, South Dakota, where they make their home. Hi, I'm Philip Tarver for Lake Charles Toyota, inviting you to come in for a first-class shopping experience. We have a vast inventory and a professional sales staff to meet with you in a comfortable, open environment. Your service experience begins with a professional, courteous welcome and continues through valet delivery upon completion. Our unique amenities include complimentary beverages, child's play area, a large waiting lounge, and a gift shop and wireless internet. We all work very hard to give you the first-class service you're worthy of at Lake Charles Toyota, Gerson Memorial, south of I-210, where we know you by your name. Sector 2. Through wind and rain, storms and sunshine, we're always working hard to earn your trust and confidence. Always working hard to make a difference because we live here too. For service and information, visit Entergy.com. Entergy, the power of people.
was running out of them on the last play on second down and 10 in the round. Whitehead will watch, throw down watch. deep. Got it. Break left. Ah, oh, 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 And now the Cowboys only need a field goal where Blake Bersajay has been perfect tonight. The kick is up. It is almost blocked, but it is good. The McNeese State Cowboys beat Northwestern State on five Blake Bersajay field goals. Holy cow, what a game. It's championship night at Cowboy Stadium. Nike's Cowboy football team won for their fifth win in a row, and more importantly, the Southwood Conference Championship. Tonight, Cowboy Stadium. Good to hear the cowbells. Cowbells ringing at Cowboy Stadium. Carly's Franklin at the bottom of your screen. Here's the end around and the double handoff. Quentin Lawrence comes the opposite side to the 25 30. He's going to go to the 35 40. 45 still on his feet. That's one man to beat. Has the block. Out. Jason Miller giving the block to the 20, the 15 yard line. Jason Miller, we just talked about him. He gives the big block, and Quinn Lawrence gets things going early. I think that's why you receive. Second down and 10 in the shotgun for Rue. Back to throw. Pump fakes. Escarly Franklin. Touchdown, Cowboys. Wide open. Good crowd on hand tonight at Cowboys Stadium. They're on their feet on third down. Back to Matt Montgomery. Pass it in left side and pick Got off. It. Jamel Juno with the interception at the 48-yard line. He's excited. <laughs> and it's boom, baby. Yeah, there you go. You think? And there's water being spread on the sidelines. The last 20 seconds will kick down, and the Cowboys have won. The Southland Conference Championship. Let the celebration begin at Cowboy Stadium. <laughs> 